Hello and welcome back to many OBS screens in one and where I am continuing to make Puffing Billy in Transfer Fever 2. Well here it is Blender but it is for Transfer Fever 2 so let's do the usual. We'll turn the speed up. This time we're going to go to 6 and click play. So, oh my god it's gone green already. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. So you may notice that it uh, looks a little worse for wear this time around. I've changed some of the settings on OBS so I can actually record Transfer Fever gameplay, but it also makes everything look a bit fuzzy. But you're not come here to look at crisp, clean the pixels. You've come here to look at trains, and this is what you get. So at the moment, I'm just doing a bit of detailing now on Puffing Billy. This is taking over from what we did before. We've got all the motion set up. Uh, ready to be exported. We're now making the engine look a little bit more lifelike. We're giving it a little bit more atmosphere, a little bit more realism rather than just existing. So here we're just given the place uh, for the crew to stand. Now I had a look at some pictures of the actual Puffin Billy that survives and also on other drawings. I can't, no one's ever bothered to document this part of the engine before. So this is a bit of speculation here from what I can see from this image which is by far my favourite one of the engine. Uh, there's a lot of pipe work actually I've noticed on this that I'm not including in this model surely because of time and effort that will be ex you know, extended towards making those pipes and also the fact that limit, you know, trying to limit poly count as much as possible which is why I'm using very low poly uh, things. I've already explained the low polyness of this engine and I go further into that in a second as well when I uh, try and limit the amount of polys on that dome bit that you can see there I try and make that look a little bit nicer but for now I'm making this railing at the back and uh, I've got an image in mind of where I want the crew assets to stand inside the engine so uh, I'm trying to think where I want them and how do I use it with artistic license because the way I'm building this engine this bit's going to be the back whereas looking at an image of Puff and Billy it's the front I didn't realize this until a lot later I thought this was the back and we're going forward and uh, the, that buffer beam at the back is where you attach your wagons no that's that's the front the, the, the bulbous bit of the engine's at the front, the funnel's at the back, followed by a tender. But So I've built the engine backwards, but that's no real issue. I don't think it actually matters all that much. So, we're just going to leave it and let it get on with it. So, <clears throat> ow, just hurt my hand on my bed. I don't know how I managed that. I put it in a weird position. Ooh, ow, my tendons. Whew, this isn't what you came for. Ah, oh, my wrist. Ugh, my, uh, not going to edit that out, can't be bothered. Right, what am I doing? Uh, looks like I'm putting some steel bars uh, in the way. So I'm going to leave a, a section intentionally not there. It, so in my mind, the crew member can climb aboard the engine and start operating various levers that do not exist. But, you know, it gives you a little bit more atmosphere. I'm having a look through some more pictures to see if I can get an image of the dome a bit. Uh, what have I found here? Oh, yes, I, there's a little bit of a... A bit of a module in the boiler there. Just putting that in for a bit of detail. I'm also going to sneeze at some point soon. Ah, now... On Puffin Billy, there is a small nameplate on the side that says Puff, you know, Puffin Billy built by people in 1813 for Wylam Colliery. I've got an idea to use this later on. I'll explain it. If, I think it's either the next episode or episode after why I've done this. It was a test I did on Locomotion Number 1, which is the mod I was working on just before um, well, I finished it, just after I started this one. They, they overlapped by a tiny, tiny amount, but I learnt a lot doing Locomotion Number 1. And I'm applying everything I've learnt to locomotion number one to Puffing Billy. Um, this is going to be one of my mods that has more features. I'm going to try and even do an asset version of this engine. I'm going to try and do a lot of stuff with uh, Puffing Billy here. It's going to be my most detailed mod uh, to date on Transfer Fever 2. And hopefully I can then uh, use what I've learned uh, and go back on my old mods and make them up to the same uh, kind of calibre. Uh, so we can see here that I am currently trying to uh, replicate that circle feature that you can see there on Puffin Billy on the right hand side. Um, this was sort of just to keep the pressure of the boiler in. Uh, it was an ext extension of the boiler where the flue inside the boiler turned around. Uh, so I'm just trying to see if I can replicate that. The, the strands that are coming out. Obviously uh, the actual part of the boiler this is made by uh, riveted plates. Um, I'm not replicating that here. I'm just trying to give the impression thereof because from where you're looking at it in the game you're not going to be able to tell the difference between a riveted plate and a piece of you know, metal going across it like this. At this stage, by the way, is when I realise that I have constructed this wrong and I need to redo the dome, but uh, we'll find that out in a moment. So, trying to position that there, realise it's not going to line up, never going to line up. I've, uh, I've cocked up. Oh, volume, doesn't matter. No sound. Up the speed a little bit, maybe. Hang on, let's go bit green, run forward through this. So, yeah, this is where I'm figuring out it doesn't exist. I've deleted it. So I'm deciding to build the dome first, the struts of it. 
and then I'm going to try and construct the dome. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to reconstruct it now quite simply out of the same part of the engine that made up the front of it. So it's going to be the same colour, going to share the material. Uh, just very quickly going to highlight the edge of it and just extrude the edge out and follow the contours that I've already predefined using this other this other piece of mesh here. I'll speed this up. You can tell where this is going. Oh, hello cat. You've come to destroy my video, have you? It's okay, no one watches this anyway, apart from like, you know, three people on Twitter that go like, wow, engines, to all those three people that like my engines, thank you. Right, where was I? Uh, yes, Puffin Billy, there it is, looks like it's done, and yeah, okay, that's the end of this part, I'll see you in the next video, which will be soon, probably now, actually, I'm going to record it now, and upload it in a bit, I don't know. I hope you like the VLC logo, it finishes all my videos.